Australian Open time! Let's go! I know you're excited. I can see that look in your eye. Do you think Djokovic is always getting easy draws or do you think Djokovic is simply so good that whatever you play him against is going to be an easy draw? And then just, uh, ooh, just a fast Thompson. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Slow down. This is the best wang. Oh, is it? You're determined to always put Eubanks out. You did it at Wimbledon. You, all, you just don't like it. What's, oh, it's a big one. Here we go. So I'm going. Emma Raducanu. Oh, that was happened to my bracket. I've got Popper in here. I must have oh, kicked the wrong <laughs> Djokovic is out. Big <laughs> headline. <laughs> Djokovic out. I just, so I think Djokovic will get revenge this time. Djokovic, I feel, is going to win the Australian Open this year. He never forgets Novak like, Djokovic. And he always wants revenge for that last defeat. That one in Wimbledon is still stinging. I've got Novak Djokovic. I've got Yelena Rybakina. Iga gets five. Novak gets 25. Joe Prince Sava. Those are my two. Rybakina's had a hot start to the year, and she's going to take the title. How about that? And then on the men's side, a rematch of the Wimbledon final. And I think the result's going to be the same. Carlitos Alcaraz. Elena Rybakina winning on the women's side. I think we're going to get Novak Djokovic winning on the men's side. Number 11. Hello, everybody, and welcome to first round action here in Australia, world number one, facing defending, no, sorry, not defending, one-time champion four years ago, champion Sophia Kennan, 25-year-old uh, American, uh, born in Moscow, and uh, yeah, so we, we're in for a good one here, folks, a pretty good first round matchup, uh, of course, Igor Sviantek, world number one. Uh, ended last year, grabbed the world number one spot at the very last week of last year. Uh, she didn't have it for most of the year, or well, for half the year. But anyways, uh, she is looking to get her first ever Australian Open title. Now, Sophia Kennan and Iga have faced each other one other time, and it was a huge match. Um, it was the French Open final in 2020. So what happened was Sophia Kennan won the Australian Open. And then continued that role into the French Open. So she won 13 straight major matches to win uh, to, to start the year. And then she got stopped. She got halted in the final of that 2020 French Open final. And that was Iga dethroned her to get Iga's very first ever Grand Slam. Since then, Iga's got three more. Sophia has none, uh, unfortunately, for Sophia Kennan. But um, yeah, interesting. Uh, the, the road kind of forked for both of these women. Um, and they've gone in totally different directions, really. Some injury issues and stuff for Sophia Cannon. Now, the match has just begun, folks. So I'm going to need your predictions. You're going to get my predictions right after this. All righty, here we are. I got the scoreboard, the correct scoreboard. Yes, uh, if you joined me yesterday, first uh, official stream in a, quite a while. I uh, forgot to, uh, or I had the wrong scoreboard up. Uh, anyways, uh, no, no worries about that. We are in today. Uh, so predictions, predictions. I am going with Iga straight sets. Um, she had, like as I mentioned, they have faced each other once before. Iga won that one, the, the French Open final, 6-4, uh, 6-1. So only dropping five games there. I think it's going to be a straight sets victory as well here for Iga. Uh, though Kennan is a formidable player, she, I don't think, is at the level of Iga at the moment. Iga is currently on a 16-match winning streak, dating back to last year. Her last loss was to uh, Kudermatova, Victoria Kudermatova, oh, sorry, Veronica Kudermatova in Tokyo last year. Since then, she just uh, railed off a couple of titles. She won the uh, the uh, the WTA Finals. Uh, that's where she overtook Arena Sabalenka to take the number one spot again. And then she went undefeated in her United Cup, though Poland did end up losing in the final to the Germans. All right, let's say hi to the folks in the stands, aka the crowd for y'all. 
Uh, by the way, Iga Swiatek really quickly a uh, game to love, and uh, first four points go to the world number one. <laughs> All right, we got Luki in the house saying Yazda. Welcome, Luki. Thank you for joining us, friend. We have Misak saying Kenan is the best. You know what? I believe that the Kenan button is the best button in the whole arsenal. Hello, AL Alexander Lawrence. How are you, friend? Good to have you back on the streams. Iga Bagel says Alex. And we've got the one and only GSL. Oh my gosh, he lives and breathes. Hello, stranger. I'm doing a bit of channel searching tonight. American football mixed with in with tennis. I understand, but good to see you. You too, Gary. I hope everything's been well. I got a little burnt out by the end of the year last year, but it's really, really nice to see you, friend. Hope all is well with you. I uh, hope the Tanya's all, uh, all right as well and the rest of your family. Happy New Year, Gary. Happy New Year to Alex and to everyone watching. Thank you guys for joining me. Iga saying I picked Iga to win it all, so I can't pick against her. But I'll go three sets. Yeah, I, I really, it was really tough for me to to decide who I was gonna, who I think is gonna win the title here on the women's side. I went with Rabakina, but it was a really like I had to think long and hard before making the final decision. It took me about ten minutes of real thought, and I, it's just something about the way Rabakina has been starting seasons the last couple of years, and including this year winning a title, um, and pretty much smashing Sabalenka. That was in uh, Brisbane earlier. So that, that's kind of given me the uh, the motivation to choose her. Um, but who knows? Honestly, who knows what's going to happen? I love it. The possibilities are endless. We're in round one. So here we go. Kenan is uh, on serve here. Up 15 love. Just so y'all know, she has some heavy bandaging on her left thigh. So Kenan has some very... Uh, it's basically going from under her skirt all the way to down to just below her left Sorry, just above her left knee. So there, that's something to um, perhaps take a, a look at and a notice during the match. All right, here we go. We got a forehand from Iga. We got a nice little rally going. Um, and cross court from Kenan backhand. And then Iga backhand up the line winner. And it's 15 all here. Iga's rocking... Uh, She's rocking white and pink. Well, why don't I just tell you what she's rocking? She is sponsored by On, as you all know. Last year, she got the new sponsorship. She's wearing white and I want to say like mauve, kind of like a pinkish. Yeah, it's not full pink, but but yeah, it's kind of, yeah, maybe. Let's say pink. So she's wearing white and pink. Oh, phenomenal return. Backhand return from Iga. Lands on the baseline. Kenan can't get to it, and it's a clean winner. Off of a a decent first serve. It wasn't maybe the best. It was right in Iga's wheelhouse there. So, yeah. Kenan definitely didn't have the uh, ability to get a racket on that one. All right. We'll get to the... I'll continue with the kits here in a second. But we're into a good rally here. Kenan up the line. Forehand. Iga with a... Ooh, almost splits backhand. And the defensive shot goes long. Ends up being a lob. 30 all almost uh, Tanya is almost three years cancer free Covey. Thanks for asking. That's kind of what I was alluding to. So yeah, that's great. Really, really good to hear Gary GSL in the house. Uh, love to hear that people are happy and healthy. Um, you know, family, good stuff like that. I actually got to do something really fun yesterday. I got to go skating with my nephew. He's uh, I'm of course a hockey guy. So Going on the ice with the uh, family is pretty cool for me, a little little nephew, and he looks like me too, so uh, it's pretty cute. Um, reminds me of when I was a little guy. But uh, here we go. Kenan with a ferocious forehand up the line, and it's a winner right there. So she has a game point. Pretty good start for the American. Of course, we all expect Iga to just cruise, and she did get a game to love on her first serve. Good serve. A uh, uh, forehand response. The return from Iga is long, and we are level at one game apiece. Folks, if you have not done so yet, please hit a uh, like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification bell. We've got action every single day until the trophies are handed out to both the men and the women in this tournament. So we've got two weeks just started. So if you love tennis and you love um, 
talking about tennis and watching tennis with friends from around the world, we are your station. Game to Love Tennis Podcast, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Um, all right, what else we got here? Take a look. Maybe, maybe I'll move this down just a tad. So if you caught my stream yesterday, I've got two massive par first round parlays that are still alive. I picked 19 matches on the men's side. So far, every match that has been completed has been won. Same on the women's. I picked 13 matches on the women's in the first round. So uh, Iga here. Uh, by the way, Kenan did hold. So we're, we're level here in the first set. So check it out, folks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it off for you. This is pretty spectacular. Um, hold on one sec though. We'll <laughs> wait for the, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty crazy parlay folks. Uh, 19, uh, 19 match parlay. Here we go. It's, uh, Iga 15 love and it's a second serve. Serve is good. Backhand return up the middle forehand. Iga backhand slice cannon. Nice and deep backhand. Iga backhand cannon. Great angle. And it caught the line and it's a winner. Iga for a second was wondering whether that went in, and so did I, to be quite honest with you. Um, the, the camera angle actually switched to where uh, we were basically right behind Iga, so we had the same view as her. But yeah, the slow mo shows that it was definitely in, no question. Uh, land on the inside of the sideline there. Um, 15 all. First serve off the tape and back on to Iga's side. That's a fault. Second serve coming up. And doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. Tosses up. Serve is good. It's a very nice serve. Um, now Iga makes her way to the net. And Kennan's second shot is a backhand into the net. So Iga did not have to handle any ball at the net there. Uh, so yeah, Iga is rocking. Yeah, it's pink. It's uh, I'm, I was saying mauve, but it's, yeah, it's pretty much pink. I'd say it's not fully pink, but you know what I mean. So Iga is wearing a pink hat. Uh, she's wearing a white uh, tank top skirt combo that has a pink stripe. One kind of going across, and one going down from her shoulder down through her skirt. And then um, it almost looks like a spray paint line. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, white shoes, white socks, and one pink wristband on her right wrist. And of course, rocking the Technofiber. Ooh, Kennan with a backhand redirected up the line. Winner. So game, a uh, little bit of a tougher game here. Iga wins the first four, all four points in her first service game. Now she's split the first four points in her second service game. So Kennan with a couple of nice shots. Some pretty good execution from the former champ here. Good serve. Great return. Iga's forehand lands just wide, and that sets up first break point of the match. And it's to Sophia Kennan. Nicely done. After all these horrible kits for two years, Iga is rocking this outfit. She looks awesome. I agree with you, Gary. She looks great today. I, I sometimes she find find her can be. I find she can be a little boring with the constant just plain black or plain white. But yeah, now she's got uh, kind of a little bit of funk. She's even got some pink on her shoes. She's wearing. Uh, on shoes. So last year she hadn't transitioned to on shoes after she switched. To oh, good return uh, from Kennan lands just inside the baseline and the forehand from Iga. She can't handle it. Goes into the net. And folks, we've got our first break of the match. Let's go. My favorite button. Australian Open champion 2020. Ski. Wanna mess with the cannon? You don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. All right, you don't wanna mess with the cannon. Um, you don't. You really, you you really don't, folks. Um, but Iga's attempting to, and she is under a little bit of fire early here. Uh, huge expectations for Iga. Uh, a lot of talk about how she's very well rested. Actually, similarly with with Carlitos, um, being you know kind of well. Although uh, Carlos hasn't really played any, had some exhibitions and stuff going in. But 
Um, but yeah, Iga has some pretty high expectations. She, of course, knows how to handle high expectations, uh, being a number one for so long, over 70 weeks, her first stint uh, before Arena Sabalenka wrestled it away, and then she took it back one second before midnight, one the last week before the official season was over. Iga recaptured it. It was pretty crazy. It's very prestigious to end the year number one. So Sabalenka was holding on to it most of the year, but was not able to hold on into the end zone. Uh, that's for you, Gary. Football season, buddy. Uh, Sophia is on her way back. This is an intriguing matchup. I agree, Gary. It's looking pretty good. I um, I predicted Iga in straight sets, and I'm ho I, to be quite honest, I hope I'm wrong. Not that I don't want Iga to do well or win, but I just uh, I want to be a good match because we know Kenan has quality for sure. Uh, you don't uh, you don't win a major and then make it to the finals of the next one consecutively without having some serious skill. And um, gosh, I'm, uh, I'm drawing a blank and maybe someone in the chat will let me know. But uh, uh, the name of the coach um, who is friends with the. Uh, um, King Richard, Richard Williams, um, he 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 had predicted that um, the Williams sisters would be world number one. Also predicted that Sophia Kennan would win majors. So people have known and haven't have had an eye on her. She's had some pedigree since she was a youngster. All right, nice forehand return from Iga, but Kennan is up thirty love on her serve. Some bad luck though for Kennan as her backhand goes off the tape. Bounces high up and lands back on her own side. She couldn't get to that. Or, of course, she wouldn't have to get to that. And uh, no one could. And there you go. 30-15. A non-alcoholics, y'all. 45 people in here. Thank you all so much for joining me. Really, really appreciate the support and just watching tennis with people. It's a pretty, pretty fun thing to do. Another good serve. From Kennan is a high kicker, and Iga couldn't handle that. Goes into the net, and Kennan looking to consolidate up 40 15, consolidating her the break that she got in the last game. Okay, we're into a rally, but the third shot from Kennan is a backhand into the net on the run. So, game's not over yet. One more chance to put it away, however, for the American. The Russian-born American. Dave K in the house. More compelling first-round major matchups than other times. I agree. I agree. Uh, we What else did we have? We had Osaka Garcia. We've got, was it Plishkova and Rybakina coming up? Um, yeah, some really, really good. Uh, there was We were supposed to have, I was actually supposed to call uh, Berrettini Sitsi Pass, but of course Berrettini had to pull out. And the lucky loser, Bergs, ended up losing to Sitsi Pass in four sets. And there you go. Kennan with the hold. And it is a consolidated break for the Americans. <music> Alex BG1 in the house. How are you, brother? Good, good. Happy New Year, friend. Good to see you. I know I saw you once in the, Sab uh, the Sabalenka uh, Rebecca in a match that I called in, in Brisbane. That was kind of my... Uh, sort of comeback, but this is more, more official because major season it just feels more official. But great to see you, Alex. Hope you're having a great start to the year and really uh, happy to have you on the on the chat. We got a pretty good matchup here. We got Iga under a little bit of pressure. Kennan's hitting some really, oh, what a beautiful return. And then it's a chop uh, short ball that Iga hits back and Kennan re-drops that. Uh, so there you go. Some really clever tennis, a variety of different shots, some great returns, some good points on her serve. Uh, and Kennan right now is the, the, the player on her toes between the two. Ego's a little bit more on her heels, kind of neutral, sort of. Tuning in from Australian Open. No way. Okay. Uh, our Bulgarian friend is in Australia. I love how we have so many, um, you know, throughout the year, we'll have people be like, oh, I'm in the stadium that you're that you're calling this match from. It's like amazing. Uh, it's so cool. Love having everyone here. All right. Iga, nice serve out wide. Oh, whippy forehand. Kenan with some good defense. It's a short ball. Iga gets that quickly and puts that away. Backhand up the line and it's 15 all. 
Uh, Kennan right now is striking the ball, folks, with some gusto. A really, really, um, really great start for the American. But Iga, can, you know that she's focused here. She does not want to get another breakdown. Um, it could make her day very, very uncomfortable should that happen. Here we go. 15 all first serve. Here's a toss. Serve into the net. Second all on the way. You ever watch that Curb episode, Curb Your Enthusiasm, where uh, Jeff's wife always drinks and then goes, and it really bothers Larry. All right. Serve right to the body of Kenan. The backhand from Kenan was long as she was not able to get out of the way quick enough to get a good good uh, strike on that ball. Okay. Here we go. Iga setting up. Good serve. And Iga's plus one forehand goes just long of the baseline by a couple inches. And Iga still, after a very quick and easy first game, hold to love. Um, Iga is under some pressure here on serve. Interesting. All right, here we go. I feel like Iga's done something with her serve. Her motion looks a little different. How she brings her racket head back. Might have to look up some highlights from last year to see. Uh, we got a nice backhand. It wasn't a plus one. It was more like a plus two. Uh, as her plus one kept Sophia Cannon on the defensive. And got a second short ball. And then puts that away. Cross court backhand. So that's a good point. Under a little bit of pressure. If you're a good boy, I may upload some Ava Lease footage for you from the qualifiers. Yeah, Ava, if you guys don't know, Ava Lease is, uh, she's my number one draft pick right now. If you're asking me who I think is the, the, the cutest, most prettiest tennis player on the female side at the moment. Um, good memory there, Alex. Um, yeah. But I think both of these women are also very nice to look at. Iga Sviantik and Sophia Kennett. And Iga with a backhand on her plus one that goes wide. So just wide of the sideline. And she's just a little off right now. And uh, level again at deuce after squandering a game point for Iga. That was about four inches wide. Four to five inches wide that last shot. So a little bit uncharacteristic. Here we go. Ooh. I thought Iga hit an ace up the tee, but it's called out. Here And, of course, electronic line calling. So there's no arguing. There's no challenges. There's no... Um, I, I do miss the challenge. I know it kind of sounds funny because I'd rather get the right call every time. Um, but challenges are fun. I just don't like it when someone runs out of a challenge and it shows, like, in front of our eyes. We see the replay and we're like, oh... I was obviously out, and that person lost the set because they didn't have a challenge. So I'm glad that they've done this. Um, you know, I, I I like you know I do like how the the lines the linesmen and women had you know cool outfits, different you know different ones on different tournaments and stuff like that. But overall, I think the experience is going to be better. Also, I think as a player, it must be more relieving to just to just know that if the ball's out it's it's not, it's not going to be called late it's going to be called instantly so if you don't hear anything just keep playing and that makes i think tennis a little bit better as well so oh be beautiful backhand up the line from uh from the doubles alley and uh, iga puts the game away after feeling a little bit of pressure but we are into the changeover and sophia kennan is up a break 3-2 will serve right after all right, folks, so I'm going to go over my amazing 13-leg parlay. So on the women's side, so far, uh, I've chosen this, uh, these players correctly. Leila Fernandez, uh, Barbora Krachikova, Maria Sakari, Arena Sabalenka, Anna Kalinskaya, Coco Goff, Elena Svitolina, Katerina Siniakova, Ons Jabur. So all of these women have won. I just need Rabakina, Iga. Yelena Ostapenko and Kin, uh, Zheng Xinwen 
to win and I'll hit my 13 leg parlay. And folks, I have a 19 leg parlay on the men's, which is still alive as well. Sinner, Rublev, Fritz, Djokovic. Uh, Dimonor counts because uh, he went through after injury. Popperin as well. I've got Lehechka. He's up two sets to love. That's good. good sign. I've got Cam Nori. He's up uh, a set and he's up 5-2. So that's looking good. I got Grigor Dimitrov. Oh, uh, nope, I don't know why, but uh, the screen. Anyways, I have uh, Carlitos. I have Tommy Paul. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty crazy, crazy thing here. He needs to check her notebook. Uh, I'm heading to court six this year. They've built a two story bar on one side of the court. Very, very dope. Have you been there before, Alex? Uh, is this your, it's not your first time there? Um, and Alexander saying yes. All right, so Kenan serving up a break here early in the first set, 3-2, or I guess midway, we could say. You don't want to mess with the Kenan. Oh, you don't want to mess with the Kenan. All right, nice serve. And then the plus one is the one that Kenan has to guess on, and Iga goes cross court, and Kenan guessed the other way. Oh, Alex, but, but you're, are you from Bulgaria? Why did I think you're from, uh, yeah, you're, are you, you're from Bulgaria. Is that correct? Um, so Kenan might be sitting in the way of my parlay here, folks. Nice serve and Iga with a lamb shank. Haven't had one of those. Since last year for your boy, for myself here. So Lam Shank, as Ega's return goes haywire, way uh, high and out. <laughs> Covey on his way to an undefeated season. Hey, so far, not bad. I've picked nine out of 13, uh, nine out of nine out of 13 picks on the women's side. And I'm like, I've hit like 12 out of 19 on the men. So let's see. <laughs> Bulgarian, yes. Family moved to Australia. Way back. Ah, okay, okay. Dope, dope. We've had we had a few Bulgarians as well in in uh, in the chat over the years. Pretty dope. And Kenan with a beautiful ace out wide off the sideline. He got no chance. And Kenan just very workwoman like right now. Just. She gets the ball from the ball girls um, or ball ball kids, and just she's just looking very focused. She's not distracted by any. She doesn't seem to be thinking about anything other than the task at hand. That's how it looks to me, at least. She just seems very, very uh, present, and that's a good sign. Little tiny bit of wind blowing up the skirt of both the players. And Kennan with a good serve. Return is nice up the middle, but the forehand from Kennan on the plus one is long. So, still another game point, 40-30. Phil Moses. Uh, it's, it's actually not that much. Um, it's like I put five doll because I picked heavy favorites, right? So, you don't get the greatest odds. But I put five dollars on the, on the 13 woman parlay, and I think I get like... 10 to, it's a 10 to 1 so or so I get like 55 bucks and then the other one um I put 5 and I get like 90 bucks so it's more like a 19 to 1 so it wasn't that much but or was it 10 bucks I put on that one but yeah it's not that crazy like oh, all together it would be like 50 like 140 bucks but that's off of like 10 15 dollars so um why did it yeah so anyways and uh it's funny because I just read an article or I was I, I was listening to a podcast and someone was just saying the first two rounds of tennis, like you can do just huge parlays. And I was like, you know what? So I put some money uh, in my uh, my bet 365 account uh, like a week before the Australian Open. So I know I I had it in there ready to go. And then I was like, let's just play around. So if I do well with this part, if I win one of them, I'm going to take the money and I'm going to try and do an even bigger parlay in round two. What do you think of that, folks? All right. Double fault from Kenan setting up a break point first of the match for world number one, Iga. And now for the first time, uh, Sophia Kenan is kind of 
looking at her box. So like I was saying, she she seemed very work woman like very present. And just after missing that double fault, just a little bit of a first time. She's not looking super focused. Zverev's having a great start to the year as well, folks. Zverev, uh, same with Alex de Menor. And it's another double fault. So good for my parlay, but bad for the former champion as uh, two double faults at Deuce um, costs Sophia Kennan. And she has given up the break that she has. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager when I'm your child. I'm a feature. I'm gonna be child. I'm eager. I'm gonna see you child. Now you can handle my heat now. You can't handle the heat. Ega. Takes the break back. So, Alexander saying Iga is back. Take the Green Bay Packers, Iga, and Alex de Menor, says Phil. Three-team lock. All right. Alex, uh, court six is Sitsi Pass Brothers in the doubles in 50 minutes. Not the best of luck, but I'll take it for now. Uh, GSL, Sophia's demeanor on court is totally different. For an entire year, she looked like she would burst into tears at any moment. It's good to see. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you. Like I said, uh, I mean, we know she has it in her and she's been touted as having it in her since she was a young girl, um, has her best pastor by it's possible, but it would be cool if that was not the case. And we all know that on the women's side, it's a little more wide open than the men's has been typically when it comes to big trophies and tournaments. Uh, did you wager who gets to, to round to 60? No, I didn't, but I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to I'll, I'll kind of keep making some bets and stuff as as the tournament goes along. But oh, folks, hey, uh, by the way, if you haven't done so, like this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, uh, hit the notification bell. And that way you can know exactly when I'm going live calling the Emma Raducanu Collins match tonight. So there you go. I'm calling two matches of uh, today. One is an American woman versus the Polish in the world number one. The other one's an American woman versus the British number one, Emma Raducanu. Actually, I'm pretty sure that Raducanu is officially no longer world number or British number one after having two surgeries last year. But it's good to see that she's back. And let's see here. You don't want to mess with the cannon? Oh, you don't want to mess with the cannon. So Emma Raducanu facing Shelby Rogers. And they're in the bottom quarter of the top half. Or, yeah, that makes sense. All right, Ego with a nice plus one. Inside out forehand goes off the sideline, painting the sidelines. And once again, Kennan kind of complaining to her box about something. I think she's complaining that she thinks the balls are out. Uh, there's been a couple of very close calls, but they're showing the very slow-mo replay of both of them. And I think that has been the cause of her irritation. That's where she lost. She, she had a point in the last game where she thought the ball was out, but it of course wasn't called out and they did show a replay. It was in, but she thought it was out and she kind of hasn't gotten over that. And that's kind of unfortunate because she was really cruising along there. All right. Good second serve here at 40 30. Now forehand Kennan, forehand Ega, forehand Kennan up the middle, backhand Ega, forehand Kennan cross court, man, it's long Ega holds. And she is now up four to three. We are still on serve of course, but nicely done after, um, Falling into a little hole, 1-3. Three. It's three games in a row for the world, number one. And I just hit it, but I'm going to hit it again, folks. The Ega button. Ega, The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm Ega, when I'm your child. I'm a feature, I'm going to be child. I'm Ega, I'm going to see you child. Now. 
Alex looking to check out his uh, compatriot, Grigor Dimit Dimitrov of, of course, Bulgaria, starting out in John Kane Arena. Can't go there right now. So I was a little like Grigor's had a great little uh, last four to six months, hasn't he? Very, very great results. Um, pretty much since like around Wimbledon summertime ish, he's been doing really, really well. So good to see. Uh, picked him as well. He's a part of my uh, my parlay. So I'll, I'll tell you that. So the men's parlay got cut off because the screen refreshed. So it was, I got so far right. I got Sinner, Rublev, Fritz, Novak. Dimonor, Popperin, uh, Herkatch, Rusevori, Shelton, Korda, Medvedev. So I'm waiting on Tommy Paul, Alcaraz, Holger Runa, Dimitrov, Cameron Nori. He's up two sets to love. Yuri Lehechka, he's up two sets to love. Zverev is yet to begin. Casper Rude as well, and he's up one set to love. He won the first set six to one. So after this, I'm not going to talk about my parlay anymore, but I will tell you guys about other scores going on because you're probably more interested in that. Although the parlay stuff is really fun. Iga, so Alex is saying Iga is not going to surrender another game for the rest of the match. Who agrees? K um, Katie Bolter is probably number one Brit. I think you're probably right, Alex. You know what? I have the power to check it out. So uh, let's go live rankings. And we'll hit the WTA side on that. Oopsie daisy. I also think it is the area where Shilatek would have wanted to keep improving some of her service games, even to close out matches against the better Okay. Players. So we're going by country. And it would be G under G, Great Britain, I'm assuming. All right. By the way, it's 15 all. First serve is long. So the, yeah, Katie Bolter, world number 51. And she is British number one, followed by Jody Burridge, who is number 100. Harriet Dart, 102. Heather Watson, 137. Uh, Emma Raducanu is all the way down at 361, folks. Of course, she was uh, injured. So that's a huge factor. Massive, massive factor in the whole dealio. All right. Here we go. It's 1530 now. Not for long, though, as Iga's backhand return goes long and wide. 30 all here. You took down my post. Why? Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about, my friend. Uh, which post did I take down? Um, and let's see. Easy road for Grigor to the title. Medvedev, Zverev, Alcaraz. That's some guy called Djokovic in the final. Some new kid. Never heard of him. Yeah, right? Um, I mean, definitely got a tough road. He definitely does, but he's been playing good. He's been playing some pretty good tennis. Um, I'm very, very uh, impressed with him of late. I mean, I could honestly see him taking out Medvedev potentially. I mean, it would be a really hard fought upset, but I still think that he has it in him. I don't know if he has it in him to take out Medvedev, Zverev, and Alcaraz if he had to go through that gauntlet. Um, but you never know. Oh, Iga with a forehand that was she tried to go up the line, but that was very long. She mishit it. It wasn't a shank, but she definitely mishit it. Kennan game point. So that's good. It's good to see Kennan not uh, crumbling after she gave up that one or that three one um one break advantage, the consolidated break. And uh, she gave it up. And for a second it looked maybe like Iga found her legs and was about to run away with it. But now Kennan's back here. First serve just a bit long. Here comes a second serve from Sophia Kennan. There you go. Second serve. Nice high toss. Good. Oh, very deep serve there. Now, oh, forehand cannon up the middle. Backhand Iga. Forehand cannon. Nope. Just long of the baseline and another deuce here. So, a lot and lo lots of deuces going on in the last couple uh, minutes here. Yeah. One deuce, two deuce, three. This is the third game that goes to deuce out of the last four. Let 
Last time uh, Kennan was at Deuce, two games ago, she double faulted at Deuce and uh, when she was down advantage. Not this time, though. Serve is good. Return from Iga is long. And so it's game point for Kennan. You don't want to mess with the Kennan. Oh. Really like this view. I think this is good. The only thing is, if there's a longer comment, see, it cuts off face. So I think this in the end is probably better. But I wonder if there's a happy medium. All right, we're into a rally. Some uh, defensive backhand from Kennan. Now backhand from Iga. She makes her way to the net. Another defensive shot. Just barely gets to the net. Iga's there and puts a backhand volley, meeting the ball at the net. Easy put away for the world number one. And back to Deuce. Gary saying Grigor is still one of the smoothest tennis players in the game. He just has all the tools, but nothing he does, good or bad, ever surprises me. Yeah, he he re he does remind me a little bit of Roger. Um, the way he moves around, kind of floating a little, almost looks like not really uh, sweating, even though these guys are always playing in pretty hot temperatures. Um, same with the Sebastian Corda. I get I, Corda. I also get that that smooth mover sort of vibe from Corda as well um but yeah i agree with you there gary he does have a lot of tools great backhand slice when his one hand backhand is on it's very good and it has been on lately um here we go Kennan's second serve at deuce is good and the return again that was just a weird shot from uh, Iga. She, she she didn't follow through it's like she kind of just almost like bunted at it instead of following through and if she had followed through maybe put a little spin on it for it to dip but without that follow through i mean it's just going to be a flat ball that that lands long uh, every time all right advantage kennan looking to get level here first serve off the tape and bounces into the service box we have another first serve coming up 39 minutes in so this has been a I mean, a lot of Iga matches, they only last about 48 minutes, 59 minutes. But this is uh, in the first set. We have a couple of formidable players playing some formidable tennis and a formidable backhand from Iga. Her second shot after the return is a cross-court backhand winner, and it's a beauty. Deuce once again. We got Kevin Nix, 6'6", six, six in the house. Cubby Vancouver Hockey Insider, what are your thoughts? expectations on Bedard a uh, Blackhawks fan here I know you're a Blackhawks fan congratulations I know we already talked about it he's a stud he's going to be amazing I was hoping that he'd get 40 goals this year it's not going to happen with the jaw injury um, but he is a player uh, he was on the ice today skating in uh, non-contact gear after breaking his jaw oh nice little chip there from Iga we'll get to that in a second backhand Ken in cross court Iga backhand chops that Backhand drop from Kennan. Iga gets to it cross court, and it's a winner. Great rally from both of these women. And uh, a great little backhand flick winner for Iga as the king of Poland, or at least someone dressed with a king uh, crown staff and a Poland uh, flag um, is imitating the Polish king, perhaps. And it's a beautiful little, I mean, a lot of great shots from both players there. And Kennan with a split step and just was not able. Uh, she kind of guessed the wrong way and then angrily swipes her racket towards the ground. Uh, yeah, Connor Bedard, is. you guys are, I mean, you're lucky. Uh, if the Canucks weren't doing so well, I would be so devastated still that we didn't get them. I, I mean, we didn't have a chance to get them really. But um, yeah, I don't know if you know what happened, but we had we got our new coach at the end of the year. And at the time we had, we switched to the new coach we were third last in the league so we actually had a really good chance to get him and then we did really well but the thing is because we did well last year it set it up for this year and we're actually the best team in the league this year up to right now um what a little drop shot from kennan and Iga gets to it but can't handle it and pushes it just long so some really uh gutsy little shots here from sophia kennan and some great hustle from the world number one. She ooh, front slide um, got to the ball, but just put it about. Yeah, it's about a foot long there. Yeah, but yeah, Kevin Nick, sixty six. You guys are uh, yeah. You you got. You, I mean, for the next, 
in, until he signs as a Vancouver Canuck when he becomes an unrestricted free agent in eight years, you guys have a beauty, and then he's going to be ours. Just, just prepare for that, okay? <laughs> of course, that's just a, a pipe dream here. We got Phil Moses giving us a prediction. We got two and three. And who are you predicting, Phil? Are you going for Iga? I guess you would have to go for Iga because uh, Ken. Well, now your prediction is unfortunately incorrect because it's four four. So there's no way it could be six three, as Kenan holds. So we are in. Are we into the business end? I feel like we're we're all, we have one foot into the business end. So we don't we're not fully there yet, but we're close. You know, I think business end should be reserved for when someone has a chance to to win the the, the set. You know. So whether it's 5-1 or 5-4. So no matter what, we're going to be into the business end after this game, according to the rules I just made up. Um, hey, folks, I have had some issues once in a while with the mic. If you hear any um, distortion or weirdness, let me know. And I can quickly switch over to this mic here. Apparently, that's that's my backup mic, and it always seems to do well. Uh, so props to Apple on that. All right. Iga first serve. Kicking off game number nine. Tied at four. And we've had a pretty good, a really well-contested match. Kennan with the early break takes a 3-1 lead after consolidating it. Iga takes the next three in a row to take it 4-3. And then Kennan just won the last one for all. And we are in two. Oh. Nice return up the middle, and then Iga dips down uh, to hit a backhand, but it goes into the net. So Kennan takes first point here, love 15. It does feel like the momentum is kind of shifting back to Kennan right now. And... It's love 30 as Iga's plus one. It's like she, sh I mean, it was a bad shank. Very, very bad shank there. And here we go. Oh, GSL, Covey, how about your Canucks and my Bruins doing a Stanley Cup final again in 2024? I mean, you know me, Gary. I am going for a Stanley Cup. That's the only thing I, I need to see. I mean, I've seen Team Canada win several gold medals. I've seen, you know, uh, I haven't seen a Canadian man win a singles uh, of a major. That's another thing I want to see. But obviously, uh, a Vancouver Canucks Stanley Cup takes takes any precedent over anything in the whole world. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. Nice plus one from... Sorry, not plus one. Uh, it's uh, it's Iga. What? Hold on. What's why is my scoreboard? Yeah, there we go. Plus one backhand winner from Iga. So she's down love thirty after that shank, but a, a good recovery here and uh, a good point to win because she would have been down love forty with the momentum against her. Great first serve and a nice return deep. Now Kenan with a forehand backhand or forehand Iga inside out and it's a winner. From the middle of the court, she just got so much whip on that. Kennan's no slouch when it comes to speed. She's not super fast, it's not, but she can move. And uh, that had some real whip on it because I thought she would have a chance at it. But Iga just ripped it. Very nice shot. 14 winners now for Iga Sviantek. 30 all. Very tight here in the first set. Four games all, 30 all. Here we go. First serve is good. Backhand return, nice and deep. Backhand from Iga. Backhand slice from Kennan. Swinging volley from Iga goes into the net. And wonder if maybe the sun played a little bit of a factor in there because the sun was in her face. Um, she hit a nice backhand cross court. Kennan with a defensive backhand. That was a lobby one. And uh, Iga trying to swing volley that out of the air. Um. You know, Gary, people have been talking about that. They're like, oh, what if uh, the Bruins and Canucks play again? Um, and even maybe even like we lost to the Rangers in 1994. That was my first heart, real heartbreak when the Canucks went all the way to game seven of the Stanley Cup finals, lost to New York. And uh, and we've been playing. We played two really good games against New York this year. They beat us here in Vancouver. And then we beat them just now in a road trip over there. 
and both the games were just high quality, the, the highest quality. And there it is. It's a break. Oh, my goodness. I did not see that coming, but the return plus one up the line backhand winner from Kennan and the ladies now putting towels over their legs as they have the the bench, uh, the sun blockers, the electronic sun blockers go over them. It's kind of like convertible seating. Bedard could be the Alcaraz of hockey. Kind of been crazy. Uh, kind of been crazy year in the hockey world. Excited for the Australian Open in 2024. Yeah, same here. Same here. Um, man, you guys, Kennan is killing it right now. I'm like I said, it felt like the momentum is switching back and gets a break right away. Don't mess, y'all. Australian Open Champion. 2020. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. All right, folks. So earlier today, we had Cocharetto winning in straight sets over Sun of Switzerland. We had Peyton Stearns losing to Daria Kasatkina in three sets. Lone Steven straight sets victory over Gadecki. We have Trevisan and Zarazua of Mexico. They're going, they're just starting set number three, 0-0 zero, zero in that third set. Uh, right now, of course, Kennan looking to serve out the first set and uh, maybe potentially starting a little bit of an upset. Whole bunch more tennis to come as well on the women's side. Collins, Kerber, Navarro, Jin Yu Wang. We have uh, Lin Zhu we ha against Dodin. We got Georgie versus Azarenka. We have Minin versus Towson. Bolter, Bolter versus Yuan. We have uh, Krunich versus Burrell. Ostapenko versus Birel. We have Wang versus Kristea. Buksha versus Blinkova. Raducanu versus Rogers. I'll be calling that one. That is scheduled for, what, 10 o'clock my time. So four hours from right now. And then we've got Zhang Xinwen against American Kruger. So that's what is coming up. But it's now Iga taking the first point in this 10th game off of the Kennan serve. Nice backhand return. Backhand from Kennan. Nice and deep. Forehand from Iga. Backhand cross-court Kennan. Backhand Iga. Forehand Kennan. Forehand Iga. Inside out winner. And uh, just like what happened to Iga, now it's happening to Kenan. Down love 30. All right. We got J uh, Gene in the house. I was going to say JS. I got the GSL in the house. Hello, Covey. Hello, brother. How are you doing today, my friend? Uh, hey, Covey and everyone. Hello, Max. Las Vegas is finest. I couldn't miss this match for the world. Uh, yeah, it's a really good match. This first set is getting interesting. It very much is. Gene, Max, says GSL. J uh, Gene, hey, Gary and Max. Max, hey, Gary, hey, Gene. Everyone say hi. All right, Kennan. First serve off the tape and lands about two inches wide of the service box into the alleyway. So second serve. Can Iga set up a triple break point here? Good serve. Backhand return. Now backhand Kennan cross court. And it's long. And uh, that is exactly what happens. Iga sets up a triple break point, trying to break right back as Kennan had a chance um, and still does to serve out the set, but it's going to be tough now. Going to have to win three points in a row against the world number one. It would behoove her to get some first serves in right here. Nope, first serve is just wide of the tee. See, that's, uh, that's been one of the problems. The second serve points one, she's four out of 15. So she's running just above 25%. And, oh, second serve to the backhand. And Iga just misses up the line backhand winner attempt by about three inches. And one break point saves. Two more to go. Chris Clement saying choke fest from uh, Kennan, I'm assuming, because she had the chance to serve out the set. Another first serve into the net. So now another second serve. Uh, she did win the point off that last second serve. So that makes it five of 16. But um, here we go. Good serve. 
Now it's a backhand drop shot from Kennan. Oh, it goes off the tape. It lands on her own side, and Iga breaks right back. It's what champions tend to do, folks. All right, so Chris was saying Choke Fest. Well, Choke Fest 2020, 2024, first one, because yes, she did have a chance. Uh, oh, someone's like, I flew 16,000 kilometers to see Iga. That is impressive. Very impressive. Iga is elite. Oh, she is the definition of elite, I would say. Uh, her and about four or five other women currently, I would say, would be that definition. Here we go. Iga back to level at five all. She had uh, her work cut out for her, but Kennan definitely looked a little tight. She wasn't able to get good serves in there at the end. Uh, here we go. First serve is a fault. Here's a second serve. Is good right to the body. Kennan returns that though right inside the baseline. Now backhand Iga cross court with a crazy angle. And it's a winner. Wow, I did not think she was going to hit a winner from that position. Uh, it was a, it was a nice. It wasn't super deep, but it was a pretty deep ball from Kennan. And Iga just scoots over to her left and pulls the ball extremely to her right with a great angle. I think that was a very unexpected shot. Uh, Iga really got around the outside of that ball. Well done, great movement. All right, fifteen love for the world number one. Good serve to the body. Kennan can't fully extend her arm and get out of the way. And so her forehand goes into the net and it's now 30 love. So he got looking to put the screws on and put the pressure back on to Kennan. Here we go. Good first serve by Iga. Great return. Backhand. Now backhand from Iga, backhand Kennan, tries to go inside out, change the direction, but way too much action on that. It was about three feet wide, and now triple game point for Iga, looking for a game to love. Can she do it? Forty love. Here we go. Her serve is good. Chop back return. It's a short ball. Iga inside out. Or sorry. In, yeah, it's an inside out backhand. Or I guess you could say up the line. Um, backhand winner. And it is a game to love. So Iga doing, doing well to keep my parlay alive. Um, what else? What else? Uh, also upcoming. Um, sorry, not upcoming. I should say also on the men's side. Um, we have currently going on. We have Laszlo Jerry versus Kazo of France. They are, uh, Kazo is, uh, they're tied at one set apiece, but Kazo is up a break in the third set. We have Arthur Fies is up four to one in the third set after splitting the first two sets with uh, Vesely. We have Duzan Lajevic down two sets to one on serve in the fourth set against Zepieri. We have uh, Michelson of the United States and McCabe of Australia. They are level at one set apiece, just kicking off set number three. Nori is up two sets to love against JP Varias, and he's also up a break, 3-2 serving right now. Uh, Roman Safulin versus Talon Greekspor. Uh, Roman Safulin is up two sets to love. However, they're currently in a tie break in set number three. And Greek Spore is up a mini break, 4-3, and he is serving. Yuri Lehechka wins in straight sets. Good for my uh, for my thingy there. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, the parlay. Rude up one set and a break against uh, Ramos. And we've got... Oh, Fukovic up five to two in the first set, serving for the first set. Not cool, Dimitrov. That was the one. And you know, the funny thing is I was because Fukovic is a is a beast, right? He's a physical monster and he can play well. And that was one that I was like, oh, should I pick it? And I was like, ah, just pick it. Um. Anyways, by the way, folks. What is going on with Okay, here we go. Here we go. Kennan serving to stay in it. 
Iga is up six to five as she held in the last game. Kennan with a nice plus one backhand cross court winner and a nice positive fist pump. 15 all. She needed that or else she could have been in a little bit trouble. What about Rude? Yeah, Rude is up. He's up a set and a break against Ramos. Um, all right, Kennan first serve. Ooh, that's about a foot and a half long. At 15 all. So here comes the second serve. Again, not doing too well. Neither of them are doing that well on the second serve. But, oh, Iga got super lucky. Her backhand return off the tape and lands into the Sophia Kennan half uh, about four inches um, from the net. So, no, maybe. No, I was wrong. Not four inches. About four feet. But still, Kennan had no chance to get that. Um, and now it's 15.30. Here we go. First serve, wide by about another foot and a half. So Kennan just does not have the range on her first serves at the moment. And it's costing her a little bit. She's only won five out of 17 second serve points. Here we go. Second serve is good. Backhand from Iga. Backhand Kennan. Forehand Iga. And that one is wide. So... Another second serve point one for Kennan, and it's 30 all. But Iga still two points away from the set. Okay. Another first serve fault from Kennan. Big point here, folks. 30 all. 30 all. This could set up a set point if Iga wins it. Good serve. Backhand from Iga. Forehand or backhand from Kennan goes long. And there it is. It is uh, a break point set point for Iga Sviantek right now. So a really good first set overall from Kennan is starting to sputter at the end. Let's see if she can climb her way out of this situation. Here we go. And she hits the first serve. Gets a short ball and goes backhand cross court winner on the plus one. And uh, good effort there. Back to level at deuce here in game 12. Fifty nine minutes into this one, exactly. Another first serve, very deep, actually. He went off the line there, and a backhand Iga, backhand Kennan, backhand Iga. Ooh, that one's very weird. She changed direction, tried to go up the line, but it was about four feet wide and five feet long. Just hit the one hour mark officially on the Rolex time clock. And Sophia Kennan now a point away from forcing a tiebreaker. Oh, by the way, folks, in case you didn't know, um, we're into the business end over here. Forgot to hit the button. Iga goes long on her second ground stroke and uh, tiebreak time. All right, let's get your predictions, folks. Who do you think is going to win and what is the score going to be? Let me know. All right. Gene saying seven to five for Iga. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Iga as well. I'm gonna say seven four. Oh, Iga got a lucky bounce, folks. Backhand goes off of the tape, uh, off of Iga's racket and bounces just right over, 
right over onto the Kennen side. Again, Kennen zero chance whatsoever. This one was even, remember I said last time the ball bounced four inches um, past the net. This one actually, but it was actually four feet. This one was actually four inches past the net. And she turned Italian all of a sudden, Kennen doing this, saying, what's going on? A pasta, stuff like that. All right, we got Dave, 7-2 Iga, showbiz showtime, says Kevin Nix, or sorry, Nick. Swing volley from Iga. Oh, a beautiful lob uh, that goes off the sideline from Kennen, now neutralizes the point, but then her next backhand goes wide. Uh, it was, Iga just got it back, just, you know, just uh, ran backwards and then just hit a, a very uh, neutral ground stroke. And off of that, Kennen, um, her backhand, that was a beautiful defensive shot right off the outside of the sideline, off the lob. Iga just gets it back. And then that, that backhand from Kennen, unfortunate for her, and she missed it. Very easy ball. And that shot... Oh, yeah, she caught the very, very outside. Um, great shot there, slow-mo. All right, now we're into the next rally. It's an Iga forehand, forehand, Kennen cross-court, forehand, Iga and misses. So, Kennen um, gets one break, mini break, gets the mini break back. No, she doesn't, sorry. She was down to love. And... Iga is up at one mini break, so. Ooh, Fukovic had a couple set points and then didn't win it, I thought for sure. And now he's, uh, Grigor is serving at 3-5. He was down, it was 5-2, and there was at least a couple of break points. Oh, great. Uh, serve out wide, cross court return from Kennan, and then the backhand up the line from Iga is perfection. She's up three to one. Very nice. Yeah, backhand just stepped into it, got there early, and beautifully done. So I got seven four. We got Gene with seven five, Dave with seven two, all for Iga. No one messing with the Kennan. All right, here we go. Four one. Oh, Iga did not like the toss. Sun is kind of in her eyes right now to uh, Kennan's back. The entire court is in the sun. No, no shade covering it. This is the first match on Rod Laver of the day. And it is 1.20 p.m. in Australia. All right, Iga with a second serve here. Is good. Backhand return up the line. And then backhand from Iga is a backhand slice attempt that goes into the net. She kind of chopped at that. And Kennan gets the mini break back on serve once again. 2-3 for the American. All right, Cam Nori is going to get me a little bit closer here to this parlay action. All right, Kennan, good serve. Now backhand from Iga, backhand Kennan, forehand cross court Iga, forehand up the line attempt from Kennan, but it goes into the high part of the net. And another mini break for Iga, and it's a changeover. She's up four to two, but it is still Kennan to serve after the changeover. Dimitrov, my boy, doing good, man. Um, all right, we have Kwan versus Klein as well. Korean versus a Serb. And uh, it's 2 nothing for Kwan early. Purcell and Valkus. Um, they're just kicking off their one game into it. Good effort from Lahechka there. Straight sets victory. All right, folks. What do we have for likes? Let's take a look here. And we are at 43. That's pretty good, folks. We got about 70 people in here. We're trying to get to 100. And if we do, 
I will play the 100 like button, which is one of my favorite buttons. Uh, no joke. I love that button. Um, all right, we got a nice little rally going. Backhand Ega up the line. Forehand Kennan on the run cross court. Forehand Ega up the line. Kennan barely gets a racket on it, but it does not make it over the net. 5 2 Ega as she takes two mini breaks or two points, uh, back to back mini breaks on the Kennan serve. And it is now 5 to 2. So we have all guesses still in play. I was at 7 4. Gene was 7-5. Dave was 7-2. So everything is still very possible. Who will it be? Will it be any of us or will it be none of us? Stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned. All right. You got two points from the set. A rather trying set, I would say, compared to what she's used to in a first round of a major. First serve is long. Second serve on the way. All right, second serve is good. Backhand into the net from Kennan. And now four set points for the world number one. Dave, if Ega wins the next point, you will be correct, my friend. You will be correct. An hour and eight minutes in. Can Iga wrap this set up? Let's see. First serve just a hair long. Here comes the second serve. As I mentioned, folks, most of uh, Iga's first round matches are this long. Not sets. Matches. So... Great return from Kennan, but Iga gets that back, neutralizes. Now forehand Kennan, forehand Iga, forehand Kennan, and that goes wide, landing in the alleyway as well, or the tram lines, if you're, uh, if that makes you easier for you. And there you go, Iga Sviantek, after being down a break two times, and um, with Kennan having a chance to serve out the set, Iga with a gutsy little performance and takes it. Seven to two in the tie break. Congratulations, Dave K. Hit the nail on the head. Got it perfect. Got it exact. Nicely done, Dave. Um, all right. Let's give a little bit of love for the first set winner. Ega, Ega, Spionte, Spionte. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm Ega. All right. So, <coughs> excusez moi. There it is, says Alex. Her set goes to world number one, Iga Shviontek. PCK, <coughs> Pete's Martin Luther King Jr. celebration day and evening. Welcome, TCK. Hope you're doing well, man. Good to see you. I hope you had a good birthday the other day. Um, it was nice to nice to see you on your birthday. Uh, when I was calling that Sabalenka Rebecca match, bravo, bravo, Iga, says Andre Skvorsky. Or Skvors, Skvorsky. Um, welcome, Andre. Thank you for your comment. And congratulations to your compatriot, Iga Sviantek, who... Uh, not an easy set for her, but she does come through in the end. Really nicely done. Some gutsy effort. Some gutsy work there. Um, all right. Vukovic. Dimitrov. Still going on in the first set. Um, any other women's matches started since? Let's see. Oh, we got a medical timeout in the Zarazua versus Trevisan match. And yeah, there you go, folks. So Iga is up. Well done to the world number one. Okay, folks, you know what? I'm actually going to really quickly use the facilities and return. So have a listen to um, this video. Just for a second. All right, see you guys very short. There should be no special rules for Novak Djokovic at all. 
Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are for something groundbreaking. Some might call it trial of the century. Some might call it trial of all time. We did not expect to be covering the first Djokovic watch along of the year. And he's not playing up an opponent. He's playing him against the state. Shout out to everyone joining us. Of course, we've never had so many people in the live chat. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring all 23,000 of you up to date with what's happened so far. I did not think by the third that Ben would be rooting for Rafa and JG would be wishing it's all over. Yeah, a bit weird. I mean, that's what the pain to end. I don't even care if he's crawling on his knees and hitting the ball over the net by the fifth. If he gets there, it'll be incredible. I'm just calling it as it is. I'm trying to be objective watching the match and he's lost the match. What do you want me to do? He hasn't lost it. He's still in it. Why do you keep saying he's lost it? You think, okay, put a bet on then. What odds would you get on Rafa? Two sets down. Eight. Stick a bet on. Seeing as he's not out. I was just disappointed you're not uh, supporting your man. No, you're being delusional, Ben. Just grow not up. Supporting your so man. Not, not, su not supporting your man. Come on, you guys. What are you doing? I feel like I'm rallying for all of the Rafa fans out there now. Crazy. Yeah, because you just need to grow up, mate. Like, be realistic. I've watched tennis many times. I've seen comebacks many times. Okay. You see Medford ever lose from this position? Don't think so. But anything can happen. Yeah! It's so good! He's done it! <laughs> Yes, he has beaten Daniil Medvedev. Of course, that was the epic comeback a couple of years ago here in Australia when Nole, uh, Nole, unfortunately, that was brutal. Of course, he was not allowed to play in that tournament. Uh, Nadal ends up winning it against Medvedev uh, in the final after being down two sets and a break. Um, yeah, anyways, glad all that crap is behind us, folks, because, um, you know, we want everyone to play, makes it better, makes it better, especially the best. Um, all right, so still on a little bit of a break here, I guess one of these players must have gone to the bathroom while I went to the bathroom. Surprising they didn't go before I. I, I th thought that I waited too long to take my break, but I guess not. All right. So, 47 likes. We are halfway to the first goal of a 100. Oh, we got one taken away. I, I just hit refresh and we went from 47 to 46. Unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, you know what? Not every road to victory is just a straight line upwards. You got to go up and then down and up. And down. It's like a stock. And then one day you hit your height. And then one day you hit your alley <laughs> um, for good. But <laughs> getting all philosophical here. Uh, what's going on with you guys in the chats? Uh, what's going on? Let me know uh, how you're doing, where you're from. If you're new, um, I'm in Vancouver, BC, Canada. Uh, it's 6.31 p.m. I'm also going to be calling the Emma Raducanu match later. Um, oh, there's also a... Uh, an Indian from India playing today. Uh, Sumit Nuggle is going to be playing Alexander Bublik. So I know one of my friends uh, who comes to the chat, Snehill, is a big fan. Um, he's very much looking forward to it. I am as well. I, I'm a Canadian Indian. My parents are born in India, but um, I definitely have a lot of pride and excitement for athletes that come out of India, which is not super common unless you're talking cricket. Um um, they are among the best in the world at cricket, but um, not much in like, say, football or soccer. Um, and then tennis, there's, of course, been a few. We've had Sanya Mirza. We've had uh, Bopana as well. Um, and uh, yeah, some other players. But yeah, so anyways, are you looking forward to any specific match? Any specific player? Who do you think is going to win the whole tournament? Men's, women's, doubles, whatever. Iga Yazda, says Andre Skvarsky. Okay, we are back, folks. Sophia Cannon will serve to start here in set number two. And, yeah, let's see. Let's see if this level can be maintained here because both of these women 
played pretty well in the first set. Sophia Kennan blinked first for sure um, in the pressure moments. All right, nice rally to start this game. Backhand from Kennan, forehand chop from Iga after a decent rally, and then that goes into the net. So Kennan takes first point of set number two. Who here thinks that uh, Kennan is going to take a set? Or do you or do you think Iga will win? Let me know in the comments. Curious to know overall what the crowd is thinking, what the percentages are. Oh, beautiful plus one backhand redirected up the line, and it's 30 love real quick for Sophia Kennan. So Kennan's again looking work woman like to start this set just as she did in the other set. We have uh, Zizla, Serej, uh, Iga Tsadiu. Uh, unfortunately, I don't understand, but thank you very much for commenting. I really appreciate it. Um, there's so many consonants in a row. It's tough for me to be able to even figure out how to say. Um, I don't speak Polish, unfortunately. I only know one word, and it's not a bad word, but it's not a good word. It's like get lost, spadai. Uh, I used to work with a Polish person and they taught me that. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, Kenan, good first serve at 30-15. Forehand Iga, nice and loopy. Forehand Kenan, backhand Iga. She crouches down to hit that and it goes into the net once again. 40-15 now. Iga Dowarz says, Vyslav Mozden. Cool name, Mozzen. Um, like I, I'm curious what that I what that the the sound is when it's Z D Z or Z D Z that sound. Kennan holds game to 15 for Sophia Kennan. So good start here in set number two after a rocky end to set number one for the American. Uh. You don't want to mess with the cannon. Oh, you don't want to mess with the cannon. I'm going to go forward for the next little bit. Now, I don't know why, but I, you know, you guys, if you watch my streams, you know, I, I have like 25 hats or something. So I have all different hats, but I love like these types of hats, baseball caps with straight bills generally, but I do have some with the curb. Um, but yeah, weirdly, I have to, if I want to wear a hat backwards, I have to decrease the the circumference so if, if i'm wearing it forward it has to be like i have to open it up more and then if i want to go like if i go backwards now it's just too loose it's kind of falls off my head so i have to tighten it one notch so i don't know why that is but it's been like that my whole life so i have to wear it on one setting forwards and then if i go backwards it's always the tighter setting i don't know is that just me or is that anyone else i i really don't know or maybe it has to do with the shape of my head I really have no idea. Beautiful backhand winner up the line to start off this game. Love 15 on the Siontech serve as Kenan blasts a backhand winner. Nice ace up the tee from Iga. 15 all. Beautiful slice uh, cutting away from Kenan. Nice serve. Iga, Yazda, Iga. Another ace, this time out wide. Two slice serves, one from the left side, uh, from the ad side on the last point, and it was curving away from Kennan. This time from the deuce side, also curving away, but it was a major slice. Very nice variety from Iga. I mean, there were two slices, but they were totally different position. One up the tee and one out wide of the box there. All right, Iga, 30-15 after two really good serves. Another good serve right to the body, but returned by Kennan. Now forehand Iga goes wide. So 30 all. Kennan putting up a good fight here. 47 people in, almost 
We just hit 49 likes, folks, almost at 50. <laughs> I don't know why. The second time in a row, it was at 49, and then I refresh, it's 48. Every time I refresh, I lose. Oh, now it's back to 49. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, thank you guys for your support. Nonetheless, it's fun watching tennis with friends from around the world. Oh, Ego, the nice forehand pick up off the baseline. Another forehand from Fennin off the baseline. This time, Ego can't handle it, and her backhand goes long. And it is once again Kennan with a first break point of the set, just like last time. But I should say break point opportunity. It's 30 40. So, Iga under some pressure here early in set number two. Couple of major winners facing off here in round one. Little treat for us. Here we go. Good serve from Iga right to the body. Block return from Kennan and then a backhand up the line from Iga. It's a winner. And as they show Iga's coach, uh, I forgot his first name, but it's Viktorovsky, I believe. He's a, he's a very, uh, he's a big dude. He's a handsome man, too. Got the big jawline, got the beard. Um, yeah. Haven't really heard too much from him, to be quite honest. I don't, like, you know, sometimes they interview coaches and stuff like that. I think I've seen him once or twice, but uh, yeah, seems like Iga's got a great coaching staff. Ah, nice plus one, and then it's deep. And then the uh, backhand, resulting backhand from Kennan off of that goes wide. And so Iga finding herself with the advantage. So Cam Nori has officially won. That is good. Good news. Dimitrov ended up losing that first set. Bummer. You guys, should I cash out right now? I don't know with Dimitrov. Well, let's see how he does in set number two. Because Dimitrov is down a set. But I know Fuktovich, I mean, he's also, he could also lose this match, you know? I mean, he's up one set. And it's still early. He's still, up, you know, best of five. But, you know. Good serve from Iga. And uh, Kent... Kevin's backhand goes just long. So another game point, for, excuse me, for Iga. See here. Thomas Viktorovsky is the name of the coach, Thomas. Viktorovsky and Alex Kennan, the father of Sofia, is the is her coach. Oh, backhand clean cross court winner from Kennan. Uh, back to Deuce, killer return there. Kennan five foot six, Iga five nine, just like Royce. I don't know if anyone got that reference, but he's a rapper. Royce to five nine. Nice serve, Iga. Cross court return from Kennan. And the next shot from Kennan goes way long. Way long. Advantage Iga once again. Let it ride. It's only money. All right. Okay. I like it. I like it. I love the attitude. TCK, I'm with you on MLK Day. No bigger person in American history in my book. Every time I go to DC, I stand on the spot where he made 63 speech. So inspiring. Oh, cool. I've actually never been to DC. Been to Baltimore, been to Annapolis. I flew into there to play a hockey game there when I was at Arizona State University. Oh, Iga had a chance to wrap the game up with a swinging volley, but she went a little too heavy and it went long. Six and a half minute long game here. Back to deuce once again. So just like the first set was not as easy as Iga normally encounters in the first round of tournaments. Beginning of this set is uh, shaping out to be the same right now. Uh, 
Okay. Good serve. And this time, Kennan got a little, oh, a little luck, but it ended up not working out. So Kennan hit her return off of the net cord, but Iga got to it and goes cross-court winner off of that. But for a second, um, before I saw where it landed, I because it looked like it might bounce close to the net and be tough for Iga to get to, but she gets to it easily. So Kennan is probably thinking, what the heck? She's hit like four net cords. I've hit one, and all of them have gone... The points have gone against me. Um, here we go. Game point, Iga. Great serve. Up the tee. I thought maybe it was close to being long, but no call. And uh, Kennan gets a racket on it. Can't get it over the net. And we are on serve. One game apiece. Seven minutes and 38 second long game. One hour and 27 minute long match so far as Iga quickly wipes down her I don't know what she did she just grabbed something from her box not a changeover but she went to her bench really quick not didn't take any time extra time or anything and now oh okay I was gonna say Kenan was just about to serve but then she turned around and started bouncing the ball again I guess there are some people still finding their way to the seats so she's just waiting for them and they are seated here we go Kenan serving game three set two She's down a set. And good serve. Iga's return does it's a high lob return, which does not make it over the net. Ken in 15 love. Ken in just shy of 9 million total prize money. 8.944 million. So she will crack the 9 million, I believe, just because just by making the first round here, I think. Um, and Iga is 25 million, 12th all time on the money list in women's history. Um, that's a pretty tidy sum of money for a 21 year old, or sorry, 22 year old. Is she 20? Yeah, she's 22. Yeah, 22 is Iga. So she's made more millions than her age. It's impressive. All right, Kenan up 30, love a nice plus one easy forehand down the line. Now she's serving. Here we go. Ball is up. Serve is good. Nice forehand return from Iga. But the redirected forehand from Kennan goes uh, past Iga. And it's 40 love really quickly. So, again, good start here once again for Kennan. So, you got Iga Smiga. It says Andre. First serve from Kennan goes into the net. Here comes the second. Okay, good. Another another serve. The first serve goes in, and the forehand from Iga into the net. And it is a hold to love for Kennan. <laughs> Sophia Kennan with a pretty good with a good start here to, to set number two. Australian Open Champion 2020. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's the beat. I'm obviously a hip hop guy, but it's the beat. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. The only thing that I would that I would tell Ben is he's got to throw some ad libs in there. So it's got to be like, you don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with a cannon. Uh-uh. You don't want to mess with a cannon. Uh. Sophia Kennan. You know, or something like that. That would be gangster. <clears throat> Anyways. One hour, 30 minutes, exactly 90 minutes into this match. Iga drinking some crazy serum in a tiny little plastic bottle. And wiping herself off. Wiping her nose. Getting ready. I'm just literally describing exactly what's happening. Sophia Kennan. Getting to the baseline, waiting for Iga to get to her baseline. And what will happen? What is going to happen here, folks? Does anyone think Sophia Kennan has a set in her? I, I just don't know. I don't think so, to be quite honest. 
Ooh, Dimitrov's down a break, but he has a break point to get back. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, here comes Iga. Her serve is good. Return goes long. And it's 15 love. What? We got peaches in the house. Hey, Covey GTL fam. Spot on, Covey. Don't mess with the cannon. Woo! Yeah, see? We get some ad libs in there. That is a certified banger at all four majors. All right, here we go. Iga, 15 love. On serve in set number two. She's up a set, of course. And direct serve at Kennan's body. And Kennan just basically just blocked uh, blocked herself from getting hit with the ball with her racket. And that thing just went off to the side. Like she deflected it. 30 love, Iga. Oh, Iga didn't like the toss. How are you doing, Peaches? How is NYC? You rocking it uh, over there in the big city? The Big Apple, Le Grand Pomme. Second serve at 30 love is good. Backhand from Kennan, nice and deep. Backhand Iga, backhand Kennan. Ooh, tried to go up the line, missed it by about three or four inches, and it's now 40 love. For Iga. Kenan's rocking a visor. Oh, yeah. You know what? I never told you guys what she's wearing. She's wearing a, a black visor. She's wearing a blue tank top. You can see her midriff. And then she's got white skirt, white socks, white shoes. And then she's got the heavy bandaging on her left thigh. No wristbands. Uh, nice return there from Kenan. Very deep. And Iga mishit that return or her plus one chance. And it's now 40-15. Kennan with a really good, uh, she's hopping around right now quite a bit. Very energetic, looks very positive, upbeat. So that's a good sign for her if you're a fan of Kennan. You guys really just taking a while on her serve here, like kind of like Rafa. And a good serve out wide. It's an ace. So way to take your time, Iga. And we are level at two in set numero dos. Actually, we're level at two and set two in the Dimitrov Fukovic match as well. So there you go. Casper Rude up two sets to love. We got Safulin. Um, oh, so Greek Spore was down two sets to love, folks. And in the third set, he won in a tie break. Well, now he's serving at 5 4. So he's up a break, serving for the set to level the set. Sorry, the match at two, two sets apiece. So that's something to watch. Greek Spore versus Safiulin. Zepieri took out Lajevic in four. Archer Feast is about to serve for the match. He's up two sets to one, serving at 5-3, just starting there. Kennan with a backhand cross court and just barely missed it. Uh, great angle. If that landed in, it would have been a winner. But on her serve, she misses that shot. And then again, showing some frustration. Now they're showing that it was about an inch and a half wide. Yeah, definitely. I love how they show the slow-mo camera live shot after they show the... Everything that they've shown so far has been matched to be accurate, which is good to see. Even the soup, there's a couple of really close ones. Um, there you go. First serve into the net from Kennan here at love 15. Here comes the second. We've got Sean Saunders in the house, fan of Sophia Kennan. Did Iga miss that? Iga, did you miss it? Did you miss it? Yes, she did. Iga missed the return there. So Kennan's serve. Iga missed it by a very, very, very close call there. Uh, come on, Sophia, says Sean Saunders. Welcome, Sean. Thank you for your uh, comment. And welcome to the chat. All right, backhand from Iga, forehand Kennan, off the line, forehand Iga, forehand Kennan, and that's wide and long. So, second time in a row, she falls behind by a point on this service game. Come on, Kennan, let's go! 
Woo! Let's go. You don't want to mess with the cannon? Oh, you don't want to mess with the cannon? Oh, sir. I need her to win this set and match. So, Sean, you got some money on it? All right, serve is good. Backhand return. Now backhand cannon. Backhand Iga. Backhand cannon. Backhand Iga. All cross court. Backhand cannon. Now up the line. Forehand cross court Iga. Forehand cannon. Tries to go up the line. Lands in the alley. And that sets up a double break point and some frustration as Kennan is voicing her displeasure towards her box. Ken, uh, Iga also talking to her box. Looking a little bit more calm. One thing about her coach, Viktorovsky uh Tomas Viktorovsky he always looks so calm and that must be very reassuring uh when you're when you look up to your box and people are calm when you're in the middle of a tense match nice serve out wide but the forehand return from Iga also goes wide and one break point saved one more here yeah on Kenan says Sean peaches we're doing well here in chilly northeast Florida welcome back to the chat GSL oh actually no you were here yeah I don't think you left oh I missed this nor new NYC is cold and finally have some snow a little bit but we want snow how have you been well check it out folks uh Iga Siontech breaks and she's up three to two she's up a set and a break could this be the beginning of the end of the tournament for Kennen. Let's see, let's find out. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Beach victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm eager when I'm your beach. I'm a beach. I'm gonna beach. I'm eager. I'm gonna beach. Now you can handle my heat now. Okay, back at it. Well, they're not back at it, but we are. Uh, I'm gonna let you know that. What else is going on today? Uh, earlier today, we had Anjabur winning against Star Odubseva. That's that would be tough to call live. Oh, my sorry, one second. I have to uh charge my phone, folks. Bear with me for a moment. Don't want my because my phone is actually my. I, my uh, webcam. So that would be a bummer if I lost that. So. Okay. Almost there. You guys are watching how the hot dogs get made right now. There you go. That's how they get made. You plug them in. Uh, okay. We got Jabir one earlier. Haddad Maya three setter over Linda Fruvirtva. We had Badosa straight sets over Taylor Townsend. One of my favorite characters on tour. We had Arancha Rush. Taking out An Angelina Kalinina. Mira Andreva takes out Para in straight sets. Kalinskaya over Volinets in three. Garcia over Osaka in straights. Uh, well, these were all, oh, those are all last night. Uh, today, Cacciaretto over Sun in straights. Uh, Kasatkina over Stearns in three. Stevens over Gadecki in straights. Trevisan is on the verge of victory. She's serving for the match at 5 2 in the third set against Zara Zua of Mexico. And the only other match other than this one is Collins is up two games to love early against Angelique Kerber, the new mother. Well, one of the new mothers. We've got Svitolina. We've got Osaka. And we've got Kerber, all new mothers on the tour. Congrats to all of them. And it's great to see all three of them back on tour, I must say. All right. 30. Uh, sorry. Love 30 on the Sviantec serve. So under pressure right away. So. Iga just broke, and Kennan's going to be like, no, I'm going to break right back. All right. A lot, uh, sky ball from Kennan. Iga rips that. And then she gets a short ball off of Kennan's next ball, and then the uh, next shot in the forehand inside out winner from the middle of the court. Iga on the board here, 15 30. It's break time. Yes. So Andre's happy. Danielle Collins off to a good start. Yep. Up two games to love. Is it now? Is it three? Uh, yeah. Two games to love. Off to a good start. Gary, where are 
you in North Florida. I have fam in Kissimmee, Fort Myers, Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale? Um, was it Palm? It was Palm something. Palm. Palm. It's just Palm something. Oh, Ghosty. What up, homie? Good to have you back, brother. Uh, had him yesterday uh, calling the Murray match. Some good shots here. Very deep balls from both players. And Kennan ends up winning the point. And it's now Iga serving 1540. So no one other than uh, one time Sophia Kennan uh, broke and consolidated. That was in the first set. Ever since then, every break has been followed by a break. I'm so bummed. I really wanted Kennan to surprise folks, but she just keeps going long. The unforced errors are killing her. Florida is a weird place. <laughs> there you go. Got a little bit of everything from Ghosty. Welcome to the chat, brother. Good to have you, man. Ghosty was listening to some of some of your boys' bars, some of the rap music that I created and put on YouTube. And a nice serve from Iga, saving a break point, but another one yet to go. I love the environment in Florida, though. Amazing bird life. Uh, uh, is that a double entendre when you say bird? Hey, Covey, how you doing, buddy? Good to have you, man. Los Angeles's finest. Los Angeles's. Los Angeles. Yeah. Ghosty, my uh, my 19 match parlay on the men's side is still like ace up the tee from Iga, saving both break points. Gutsy little couple of uh, points there from Iga after being down 15-40. Four aces now for the world number one. Palm Coast. I knew it was Palm something. Peaches Palm Coast, 30 minutes north of Daytona, an hour south of Jacksonville. The Ville of all, that's where all the Jacksons live, I believe. That's why it's called Jacksonville, because it's the, the, the city of Jacksons. Another good serve out wide. Kennan's return goes long, just like Ghost said. She's going long too often. Well, she just did it again. And now Iga looking to consolidate. And this would be a big point for Iga if she could. Pull it off, I believe. A ghosty says Peaches. Oops, I'm, I'm reading the comments, but I'm not putting them up. Funny. Uh, okay, here we go. He got first serve into the net. This is game point. This is for the consolidation. Can she do it? You'll find out soon. Good serve, backhand return, goes long, Ega with the fist pump, and... <laughs> Covey, you should do a song about Florida and rhyme DeSantis with malpractice. Uh, DeSantis, DeSantis, the man is so rancid. Um, I, I mean, I have to grab a pen and stuff, but... Uh... Or I'd be I need to be rapping with some homies. I'd come up with some good stuff for sure. DeSantis is rancid. Um he's praying like a mantis. Mm, I don't know. I don't want to give him that because I like mantises, maybe. Not the biggest DeSantis fan, though I, I must admit I'm not really a fan of any American politician. Um and Canadian, to be quite honest with you. Um, I just find that they're just hilarious. Rancid, that works. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, backhand return from Iga, and Sophia Kennan's plus one goes into the net. So, after the consolidation, Iga, I think she might smell the finish line. Or is it smell blood in the water and see the finish line? Probably the second one. Okay, serve is good. Forehand from Iga just mishits it, and it goes wide. Kennan, 15 all here. Nice serve. Forehand return Iga. Forehand Kennan into the net. A little bit of an energetic lull here all of a sudden. The crowd seems to be quiet, and both players are... Neither are kind of bouncing or jumping around at the moment. Pretty, pretty funny, actually. Yep, 
Yeah, the second serve points one has been the biggest difference in this match. Kennan only 7 of 22, so less than a third. Iga backhand up the line, clean winner, sets up a double break point, and now Iga on the verge of having the chance to serve out the match. She's got two chances here to take this game and do just that. Beautiful backhand. And... Uh, Sophia Cannon's looked like she was a little flat-footed there, to be quite honest. Oh, nice plus one from Kennan after the serve. From the middle, goes out wide, inside out forehand. Saves one break point. Quickly gets the ball and back to the line here. Vamos, champ! Says Andre, you good, ghosty? Um... Uh, you're not wrong. All American politicians are like that box of leftovers in the back of your fridge from that curry restaurant you had five months ago yeah they're they're rancid like santa's is oh it's a bad double fault for kennan she gets broken and that might be curtains for kennan all right folks five to Iga. Let's see how many likes we're at. 55. Thank you guys so much for all the likes. We did a pretty good job. Not over yet, but um, yeah, thank you guys very much. 55. Um, and don't forget, folks, I will be calling the Emma Raducanu match later against Shelby Rogers. So, excuse me, definitely catch me for that one. That'll be a little later on. Um, in my time zone, it's scheduled for, just to let you know, 10 o'clock, which is three hours from right now. So it's scheduled to start, but of course, um, it depends on matches before. Let me see actually what the schedule is. So tournament, Australian Open, scheduled. All right, here we go. So Radu Kanu will be playing on... Oh, she'll be playing on the 1573 arena. Right now, we have Collins versus Kerber. So it's going to be Collins Kerber. That one's currently going. Then after that, we got a men's match. So that'll probably be another two to three hours. And then after that, we got Raducanu Rogers. So how's the Collins? Yeah, that one's still early in two all in the first set. So uh, most likely it will not start right on scheduled time. It's scheduled for yeah three hours from now i'm guessing it'll probably be four or five but anyways let's see we'll see you guys there anyways here we go Iga Swiatek now serving for the match folks at five to two here in the second set can she do it i'm gonna go ahead and say yes oh yes says alexander peaches i'd better uh, i'd better be if Iga would give me a friggin break <laughs> uh peaches oh boy kennan danielle collins yes Swiatek win Peyton Stearns lost today. A rough days for the American ladies. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, ghosty me too disappointed with Kenny. Uh, um, yeah, we don't have Bianca Andreescu this year. We I think, do we have Becca Marino? Did she make it? Of course, Layla Annie won her first match. That's good. Um, Milos lost his first match. Dennis Shapovalov lost his first. Uh, FAA won against Dominic Team in a five-setter last night. So, oh, what a weird, was that an ace? I don't know. It was weird. Uh, she uh, Iga served a kicker out wide. and there, Here's the replay. So she's got the kicker out wide. And Kennan had two hands on the racket, ready for the backhand. And she just missed the ball. It's like she realized after she swung that she wasn't going to reach it. It was very weird. It was, it, was, it was a type of swing that had a weird hesitancy to it. Anyways, it is now 30 love, and now it's 40 love because Iga with a body shot to Kennan and the backhand gets redirected wide of the court. Three match points now for Iga Shiante. Match point. All right. One hour, 51 minutes in. Can Iga put it away? She has three chances to wrap it up right now. Three match points. Here we go. First serve. Good. Backhand return. Up the middle. Backhand Iga goes long. One match point saved by Kennan. Another two, though, for the server here. The world number one. 
the one and only Ega. Match point. Ega, you are the boss, says Andre. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, says Alexander Laurence. I put words in his mouth, folks. I did. All right, here we go. Serve is good. Forehand return. Wide. Landing in the alleyway. Ega with the little fist pump looking up to her box. And the world number one moves on to round number two. She's been to the fourth round a few times here. Um, but... No, wait. Hold on. She's been to... Yeah, she's been to one semifinal and three fourth rounds. So, Ega... Could this be the year where she wins her first Australian Open? Let's find out, folks. And there we go. As Alex said, easy win for Iga. Congratulations. Iga Sviantek takes it 7-6, 6-2 versus American Sophia Kennan. All right, folks, we're going to hit this button for Iga, and then we're going to come back and wrap it all up for you. Iga, Iga Sviantek. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager, I wanna know the job. I'm a feature, I'm gonna beat ya. I'm eager, I'm gonna see ya. Now you can't handle my heat now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, on this one, Iga Sviantek, as mentioned, wins seven six six to two. Peaches saying thank you, Covey. You're very welcome, Peaches. Always, always. Uh, when is Emma Raducanu? Match is scheduled to start at 10 p.m. Pacific time, but there are still uh, two matches. One currently going on, then a uh, women's match, the Kerber match, followed by a men's match. Then uh, she'll hit the court. So um, she's last on that court so it probably it's scheduled for two and a half hours uh, two hours and 50 minutes sorry yeah two hours and five zero say three hours but it's probably going to be longer uh ega andre happy for you brother uh glad that you're your your favorite player won so there you go folks um that's gonna do it for me unless anyone got a question or anything i don't think so yeah so uh i'm gonna go have some dinner uh, I'm going to make pizza with a cauliflower crust because, yeah, that's right. Your boy's off the carbs as much as possible. Um, but anyways, that is of no consequence to you. Thank you guys very much. My name is Covey over here in Vancouver, BC, Canada. As mentioned, in about three to five hours, depending on when it starts, I will be calling the Emma Raducanu match. Please join me for that. Um, and also, any other notes? Yes, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we would really, really appreciate that. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Once again, my name is Covey. You can see that right there. And I am out of this. You know what? Peace.